Hello, good evening, and welcome to this evening's stream. Uh, for those who are new here, I'm late to the beard party, and um, welcome. Uh, this is a new series that I've started last week, uh, where we're playing Dragon Age Origins, a um, game I haven't played in a very long time. But just for a bit of fun, I'm uh, just reciting the character's dialogue in the voice of Duke Nukem, or at least a uh, terrible impression of Duke Nukem. Um, yeah, because the character isn't voiced in this game, as was the thing at the time. So... Hopefully this is going to be entertaining for you. Um, if you are lurking in chat, please use the uh, command exclamation point lurk um, just to show that you're not interested in uh, chatting, just watching. That is absolutely fine. Helps the channel if you do that. Thank you. Um, let's get into the game. Uh, the game pauses the dialogue when it doesn't have focus on there. So let's get the audio in. There we go. Right. So last week, hopefully it's not too loud, we uh, finished off just as we'd done the uh, the ritual. Um, oh, what, what do they even call it? Um, oh god, I forgot what the ritual was called. <laughs> oh, where they, they drank the darkspawn blood. And um, yes, Duke had the worst bloody Mary yet ever. <laughs> I need to get in, into doing the voice before starting this. Better practice, I'm still new to streaming. So, let, um, the battle's just about to start, but before we do the battle, let's do a little bit of um, looting around the uh, the area, because I'm sure there are things to find here. I can't head back out. See if there's any last minute things we can get from the quartermaster. Oh, not even here. Nothing to loot. What he looted that there. Okay, there's nothing more to do than to um, move on to the battle. This is where shit hits the fan. Okay, the game just crashed. Great. It's the first time that's happened. I was not expecting that. Okay. Hmm, that's annoying. Great way to start the stream. Hmm. See if it does it again, because if it does, that's uh, not a good indicator. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it annoys me back in this day, they always did pre-rendered cutscenes using in-game graphics. So when you run at higher resolutions, you can actually see which parts are pre-rendered and what's not. Nowadays, it's not even worth doing, to be honest. In-game graphics are good enough now that pre-rendered cutscenes seem almost pointless. Ah, King Kalen. The plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. Be a very short game if it did. Nice cup of tea. Whoa, those are but ugly. Kiss my ass. Just a few of them. Just a few. And a big boy. Our 
Ah, the danger puppies. Animation was a bit awkward on him. Let's cross the bridge and get to the tower of his sh Come short there. Well, this is a mess I didn't ask for. <laughs> fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get across the bridge. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have come here. talking about man taken how the darkspawn came up through the lower chambers they're everywhere most of our men are dead then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves yeah shit why does this always fall to me oh one key there There's more of them to do, more of them to kill. Right, looting. Because if I don't loot now, I will never get all this stuff. I shall do it. Shall be done. <laughs> I completely forgot to um, select one of the voices for the character, so he's got the uh, the polite and well spoken. <laughs> Uh, quips that the character comes out with, as opposed to uh, <laughs> the majesty of my voice. Oh look, we're surrounded. Die. Hey, where are you running to? Just delaying the inevitable of your death. Oh, we got a big guy here now. Is that all of them? Uh, shame. Not the bodies. Because that's the one thing we always do in all RPGs, just loot everything. Are they dead? Loot them. Anyone who's played D&D knows, don't you? Okay. Hey, into the tower. Bodies around here. And lots of traps, if I remember correctly. Duh, that hurt. Watch out, I'm coming to murder you. Actually, no, it's murder. It's 
not not murder. It's uh, pest control. Right, I'm uh, nearly dead. Fix that. Failed to pay attention to my own health. Looty loot loot looty loot shall be done. It is begun. Oh, they're all dead. I shall do it. It shall be done. Oh, I got knocked on my ass. Get up. Wrong button. Leave the mage alone. Come on, come back to me. Out of the way, dogger. One thing I liked about the game um, Dungeon Siege is the fact you actually had a dedicated button for telling everyone to just loot everything. I shall do it. So every time a battle finishes, you just press that button and watch them all run around and grab all the loot. It shall be done. Kind of made it too easy. Now there's a big hole. I'm guessing they came up through here. It's the other side of there. I really should have saved that for these two. Oh well. Oh, there's another one. And he's dead. I shall do it. Now, one of the problems with not playing a rogue is you actually miss out on all the loot in uh, these ones, these chests, because you don't get a rogue in the group otherwise. And the rogue is the only one that can do um, oh lock picking. What are these darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Weren't you complaining that you wouldn't get to fight? <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. Uh, it's not like that's anything important. Oh, they'll come around this way. Uh... <laughs> like in Dark Souls, use the uh, bolts to kill things. Doesn't do a lot of damage, I don't think. Rapid fire bolts. There's some of them. Oh, there's more of them back here. Oh, <laughs> just killed all three of them in one swipe. <laughs> Do yourself. Very well. That sounded more like a yawn, didn't it? I need to work on this voice. Very 
Very well. As you say. Grab everything. I shall do it. And here we go with more of them to kill. Make ourselves even more late by looting everything. I can't remember how many floors there are to this. There's a few. Those gains better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us. Yeah, and I'll kick his ass if he doesn't. My dog has leveled up. Need to spend those points. It is begun. Very well. Right. A new long sword. Is that compared to my current one? And uh, nope, it's worse than my current sword. What about Alistair? Ah, uh, that's worse than the one he's currently got. Although I could give him a great sword. As you know, his skills are all in sword and board. So, um, yeah. So let's level up the doggo. The great dog cuddles. <laughs> that was my wife's idea for a name, I think. The dangerous warhound cuddles. You'll bite your balls off. Oh, try to stun me, are you? I'll get you as well. Die, you mutant motherfucker. Unleash the dogs. A bit too late. Whoops. As you say. Trying to shoot from the back, are you? Oh, you guys are joining too. Right, you. So you should heal yourself. That's it. Just to avoid him dying. Because they get injuries when that happens. Everything, loot everything. <laughs> Barracks. I shall do it. Headless Genlock. More barracks. Not particularly good use of space, but 
be difficult to navigate if it was done realistically. Very well. Got loads of injury kits at the moment. Oh look, there's more things to kill. Come on, die. Nice one, Alastair. Might be interested in this battle. There's some good stuff in there, but uh, can't open it. Last one to loot. As you say. Whoa, that sounds like a big one. Ah, he is a big one. Fuck you, ugly. Yeah, same to you too. I'm going to rip his head off. Ow. And now you die. Yeah. Nope, looting first. Sorry, Alistair. More important stuff to do than uh, light the signal. Far more important things. <laughs> Yes, epic music continues. Right, let's level up Alistair first. Because there are always more important things than following the plot, isn't there? Right, uh, constitution to make him tougher, and yeah, wax him more into strength. Uh, you might as well give him combat tactics, because that'll that will be useful. And yeah, he's got loads of skills in sword and board, so. Uh, level 9, not quite there yet. Uh, let's just give him that one. Okay. So, light the beacon. Be hey, we've done our job. Let's watch this battle win. Yeah. Pull out! All of you, let's move! He doesn't look quite so angry there. Hmm. Yeah, he was supposed to marched or charged down and uh, win this battle. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay, Duncan's badass.
Hmm. Yeah, that didn't go well, did it? Uh, you had to do it in a cutscene, didn't you, you bastards? Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. No, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck happened? Where am I? What the fuck? Back in the wilds, of course. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and I have just bandaged your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Wait, what happened to the army? What happened to the king, Duncan, and all the other shit that was going on? The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. So what happened to the Grey Wardens and the King? All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Why does your mother want to see me? I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. So how bad were my injuries? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The dark spot that long did not mother could not heal. <laughs> okay, I'll go then. I will stay and make something to eat. And instantly get my uh, clothes back on. Let's level up. Uh, right. Points there. Uh, oh yeah, I'm definitely taking the Combat Master one. Uh, actually, it's decks I need for all the thing, all the abilities. So let's whack them on there. Just for the OCD, let's do it that way. Hmm. <laughs> I'll use up stamina quickly if I use that, but I see no reason not to take it. Right. Loot the place right in front of her. Step outside and say hi to Alistair. See how he's taking this. <laughs> See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You, you're alive. Yep. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. It takes more than just a few dark spawn to kill me. Duncan's dead. The Grey Wardens. Even the King. They're all... dead. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? Uh, you've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The... Flemeth? From the legends? Davith was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Mm. So why did you save us? Well... We cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? The land is hardly united thanks to Loghain. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? 
Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Arch Demon. Okay, just what is this fucking Arch Demon? It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An Arch Demon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Then what would Loghain hope to gain by betraying the king? The throne? He's the queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Good point. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. Mm. You think the oil would believe us over the turn? I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. And say he doesn't help us, what then? You have more at your disposal than merely old friends. Of course, the treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from Dwarves, Elves, Mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but Dwarves, Elves, Mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Sounds like a bad D&D game to me. <laughs> And I doubt it's going to be that easy. <laughs> and when is it ever? It's always been the Grey Warden's duty to stand against the Blight. And right now, we're the Grey Wardens. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. I'll just be happy with staying alive and all this bullshit. <laughs> hmm. Come to think of it, that would be nice. Well, don't expect me to do everything. There is, however, one more thing I can offer you. Oh? The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> <laughs> I love the writing in this. And what makes you think we want her? Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Was this your idea all along? Pardon me. But I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above. Always prove worthy of your friendship. Okay, that audio went wrong there. Uh. 
Okay, fine. Allow me to get my things, if you please. Yeah, go, go. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Hmm. What should I say? Hmm. Not sure if you can read it on the stream. Uh... No, if you got something to say, it speak your mind. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. <laughs> I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Uh, get over yourself, Alistair. If you worry that I will summon demons and transform into an abomination, I assure you I will at least wait until you are not looking. I feel better already. <laughs> Okay, let's get on with this shit. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, both Alistair and Morrigan have approved. <laughs> right, a whole bunch more quests. Uh, they appear. Uh, I need to remind myself of all the uh, shortcuts were. Journal. Right, so yes, we have quite a few quests to do. Premium content. Hmm, don't recall that one. So... To make our way off away from the swamps and off into uh, yes off into Ferelden to begin the quest this is one of the uh, unique things with this game uh, you actually had a map something which uh, I don't think any other game has quite done it like this it's interesting little detail they did leaving a blood trail on our way to this town the capital. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne. And neither will any of you! The Bannon will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Van Teasen, please! Your Majesty. Your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? <laughs> yes, the country is falling apart already. Tickly, tickly throats. 
Lawrence. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess that fellow is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like them others. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. Your toll collectors. Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? You're fixing the highway, I don't think so. Not much gets past you, I see. It's not really a toll. We're just robbing you, see? Do shut up. Even a genlock would have understood that. Forget it, I'm not paying you fuck. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse then. Those are the rules. Hey, you really want to try fighting Grey Wardens? Or Duke Nukem? Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king! Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But, aren't them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good? <laughs> good enough to kill a king? You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king-killing ways. Actually, let's just add bandit slaying to that list. And just when we had things settled. Yeah! All right, we surrender. <laughs> we're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Get uh, get by? You're just a fucking criminal. Yes. I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. <laughs> nope. I think I'm just gonna kill you. That's all you deserve. I'm not going down without a fight. Good. One more. Uh, Nothing to loot from him. A note. Uh, Ah, knights have been searching for the Urn of Sacred Ashes, I think it was. It's one of the quest lines to follow. Hmm. Possibly useful item. I need to go through those off, off stream. There'll be lots of reading involved and that would be quite boring to watch. Let's uh, check equipment. Uh, Yes, because we have Morgan. Uh, uh, yeah, Do there. Ah, uh, right. Looks kind of silly on her, but uh, boots. Interesting that the gloves don't actually appear. Gloves and boots don't appear on that. What's to do with the costume?
Right. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Now just get to the fucking point. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Did you have any some thoughts on that? This should be good. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? What the fuck do you mean? The treaties, the ones we got from Flemeth. With these, we will be able to ask for assistance. Maybe even raise an army. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Then why are you leaving this up to me? Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Arleman is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. Is there a way to contact any more Grey Wardens? Short of leaving for Elden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisselp Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. Which sounds like outside of Ferelden. And what do you think, Morrigan? Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. And I don't think any of this bullshit is a good idea. I'm not sure I like any of it either, but we don't have a lot of choice in the matter. Of course you have a choice. You could run and forget about it all. Let the Darkspawn do as they wish until other Grey Wardens come. If they come. That's what you call a choice? It may not be a good choice, but it's a choice nevertheless. We all choose our path, even when it seems there is only one direction we should go. How enlightening. At any rate, I'll stay with you whatever you decide. Then we need to find these people. I can give you directions, if you like. Where do we find our Lehman? He'll be at the Castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. What about the Dalish Elves? If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. What about the dwarves? We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. And the Circle of Magi? That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. And what about Loghain? Where would he be exactly? If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Okay, I don't need any more directions. Then you have a plan. Yep, let's get moving. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. <laughs> this is going to kill you, isn't it, Mel? Yeah, this is a cheerful place, isn't it? You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. 
There's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. What do you mean? We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. Are you keeping me from coming in? I'm just warning you, things may not be as hospitable as you would expect. People are frightened. So who's in charge? The Ban has marched north with Terran Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. Yeah, this place has seen uh, better times. That depends. Who is your mother? She's really tall, and she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Some mean men with swords came, and mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. Do you know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbours yesterday, but he didn't come back. I don't think your folks are coming back, kid. Why not? Why would she leave me here? Ah, uh, the mean men killed her. She's dead. But... No! She can't be dead! I'll find her! I'm a bastard. The Chanters are still operating their board. Now <laughs> that's dedication. Ah, oh, yes, the Chanters and their Chanters boards. That's basically how you get some of the uh, the quests in this game. The leeches of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at darkspawn hands. There, one of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? Are you just looking at my chin? Watch where you're throwing those accusations, asshole. Please stop! Somebody shut his mouth! But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! <laughs> oh, that's enough. This ends now. No! Do not touch me! You bring evil and destruction! <laughs> it is the end! He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Hmm. How would Duke put this? There's always something you can do. Pull your thumb out of your ass. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. Not sure if that will help, but knock yourselves out. Your king is dead! There is no hope! <laughs> uh, that's a rather famous glitch in the game that uh, he will often do that last line when you finish. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. Do I look like a fucking refugee? So many are coming to Lothering. I make no assumptions. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. 
Did you know there were bandits on the highway here? Were? Did you drive them off? Well, so Bryant will appreciate that. Who's in charge? The revered mother runs the chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templars stationed here. Have you got any news of the goings on around here? Not since Teon Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Okay, fine. Make her watch over you. It is begun. Such a silly hat Morrigan has there. <laughs> well, it has stat bonuses, so. There's word of Darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Ah, that's Sir Bryant. Yes, who might you be? You can call me Duke Nukem. I am Sir Bryant, <laughs> commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? And if I were... I'd tell you what I told the others. Nothing here will assist your quest. The urn of sacred ashes is a myth. What the fuck is the urn of sacred ashes? A mythical relic of Andraste. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. Things seem pretty, uh, fucked up here. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the Horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. I need some info. If the matter is important, certainly. Have they had any recent news come through? Other than the Darkspawn Horde bearing down on us, well. none of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Oh. Disaster piled on disaster. Did King Caelan not have an heir? None that we know of. Teon Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner. And the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. What did you mean about Arl Eamon? Arl Eamon has fallen ill. Shit. And his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. About those bandits outside the village. Maker's breath, how many times must we drive them off? They're not gonna bother you again, they're dead. All of them? By yourself? It's true. I saw it from my post. It was over so fast, we didn't even have time to get over there. Sad that it needed to come to that. But then they asked for it. Yep. Will you accept a small reward for your service? Yeah, that'd be good, thanks. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, some. unless there's something else you need. No, no, I'm good. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. <laughs> hmm. So, who is this Sir uh, Donald? Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the urn of sacred ashes then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day my hope dims.
I found something from Sir Henrik. I think you might want to see it. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. I dealt with the bastards who killed him. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Mm. So what is this about this urn of sacred fucking ashes? Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. I want to hear what you learned about it. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. Hmm. And when the Maker spoke, a chant of light scattered in the darkness. The word dispelled fear and ignorance. Let's you go. ever wonder if that's an accurate likeness of Andraste? Maybe she was ugly. Maybe she had buck teeth. How will we know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, similarities to real world religions. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? Yep. You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. A tithe to the churn tree? Are you fucking joking? A great number of people could be fed and clothed for a fraction of your finery. But you must do as your heart wills. I will. What can I do for you then? Hmm. Nothing of importance. Be gone then. I have important work to finish. Yeah, fuck you too. Oh. I clicked outside the window and so uh, lost some of the audio there. <laughs> Whoops. And then shall the Maker return to us. And then shall the Maker return to the Black City in Heaven. And yeah, I don't give a shit about that. Right, so, where should we go? Chanter's board probably has a few things we can do. to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Get rid of what tiny and I might consider it. <laughs> I'm not the only one with some business sense. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Can you beat that off her sister? You want me to bid against him? We don't have that kind of coin. What do I get if I do help you? We have nothing to offer but our gratitude. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna work for this bastard. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. You're lowering your prices or you lose your goods. Maker's breath. 
Sometimes it's truly not worth operating this far south. Just charge what you would have before this tragedy. Fine, yes. Just stop complaining. You're giving me a headache. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. <laughs> My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maple mm. watch over your path. Yeah, Morrigan didn't like that, obviously. Oop. Looting. Yes, I'm looting everything. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. So, do you think those two are shagging later? <laughs> I just realised I walked straight past the uh, chances board. Bandits everywhere. Might as well take it. And we can talk to this guy. And Eileen spoke unto the masses. My half is yours. My bread is yours. My life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, yes. Just gonna smile back at him. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devon's. Is he uh, mad in the head or something? <laughs> no, he's a chanter. One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof ones, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. So it's a vow of silence of a sort, so he can't talk normally? Unless it's the chant of light, no. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant, then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. The chanter says what? What? Oh, you got him to speak! <laughs> what hath man's sin wrought? <laughs> oh, he cheated. Uh, I'm going. Oh dear, again. It's annoying that this game drops the audio when uh, it loses focus. Okay. Some people with glowing question marks over their head. That means they have something to do. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. What do you want traps for? Old Man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Why don't you just buy some? None to be had. Barlin has all the traps in the village in his fields. Sorry, I can't make any traps, and I don't think any of the people behind me can either. I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. Nah, I'm going the other way. So let's talk about your mother for Ooh. a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? <laughs> Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. <laughs> you know what's more interesting than that? Apostates, mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. 
Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. <laughs> ah, Morrigan's a bitch, isn't she? We love her. Now, Claudia had a lot of fun playing that character. Yeah, nothing to loot around here because that's what adventurers do. They loot everything, don't they? Everything! got a bed for the night you taken care of no <laughs> uh, what Lothering's full up with refugees might be space in Allison's barn speak up I'm not a refugee I'm a grey warden a grey warden are we did I mention I'm the bleeding queen of Ferelden I'm no young skirt looking for a tumble or some elder you can bully Looks like you can fend for yourself tonight. Okay, fuck you too. As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? I'm just to you see the new recruiters out. I keep you. It is begun. Boys, down the far we you. They're pressing anyone who can hold a sword into service. Now, Terran wants a new army, but is it to fight them Darkspawn or those nobles shouting against them? I've no idea, but I'm sure not about to raise my hand if you catch my meaning. Not after what happened down south. Hmm. So how is it that Terran Logan survived when even the Grey Wardens didn't make it out of that place down south? I heard he saw just in time what those Grey Wardens were doing and saved his men. He's a hero, that's what he is. Too bad he couldn't save poor King Kalen. <laughs> those grey wardens they deserve what they got and more hmm things are getting spicy well look what we have here then i think we've just been blessed uh-oh low gains men this can't be good didn't we spend all morning asking about a fellow by this very description and everyone said they hadn't seen him it seems we were lied to Gentlemen, surely there is no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Looks like this asshole wants a fight. I'm happy to oblige. Right, let's make this quick. One, we surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. Ah, uh, they aim to butcher us. They deserve no mercy. Please wait! They have surrendered. They were no match for you. Let them be. They were gonna kill us. And I aim to kill them. But they failed. And I do not wish death on anyone. <laughs> Fine, then they can take a message to Logain. What do you want to tell him? The Grey Wardens know what really happened. I'll tell him right away, now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. And who the fuck are you anyway? Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Hmm. What does that all mean? I joined the Chantry to live a life of religious contemplation. But I am no priest, not even an initiate. And is there something you wanted from me? Those men said you are a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Mm. 
Uh, no, the, those men were mistaken. We're no Grey Wardens. But... Oh, I see. Of course. Shall we move on, my completely ordinary and unremarkable friend? <laughs> And why do you even want to follow me? The Maker told me to. Right, I believe this is where we back away slowly. I... I know that sounds absolutely insane. But it's true. I had a dream. A vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair. And this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. If you feel sorry for these people, why don't you just help them here? Then what? What happens when the Hold comes? It will follow anywhere we flee, until all we know is destroyed. <laughs> Gonna need more than just prayers. I can fight. I can do more than fight. As I said, I was not always a lay sister. I put aside that life when I came here. But now, if it is the Maker's will, I will take it up again. Gladly. Please let me help you. Okay, fine. It seems that we're kind of low on uh, help here, so we'll take the offer. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. And now we get to pick the party. I'm going to be sticking with the uh, ones I've currently got for now. And uh, yep, Cuddles has leveled up. Let's just keep making Cuddles stronger. Okay, right, it's nearing half past eight, and I think now is a good point to. Uh, go on a short break i will be back in about 10 minutes so um yeah if you are enjoying <coughs> oh tickle in the back of my throat here oh and just need to sort out this for the break so yeah about 10 minutes and i shall be back don't go anywhere and welcome back time to continue on into ferelden if I can keep that voice up. Right, welcome back. Hope you are enjoying. You'll get back there. Okay. What do we have in here? You hear about food. Take it up with that bleeding run by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Hmm. Don't worry about him, I dealt with it. You did? Well, I don't know what to say to that. Thanks. Show me what you got. Hmm. Right, first thing is, do you have any... Hmm. No, he doesn't have any of the um, backpack expansions. Oh, he's got war pine for the dog. <laughs> okay, probably a good idea to sell some of these things. Well, that's better armor than I currently have. Uh, as is that. Not both. Which again, this is something I should probably do off stream thinking about it. Um, and I don't have much money either. <laughs> uh, Thorn of the Dead Gods. <laughs> don't have the money for it. Uh, that's a that's a dagger that does more damage than my sword. Hmm. Oh, I have the skill. I can use that now as well, can't I? Uh, the one. Okay. So, the 
there. Uh, right. And for Morrigan, uh, yeah, that doesn't do quite as much, so I can pretty much get rid of all of those weapons. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding run by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Mm, same dialogue, so yeah, just show me what we got. That is so weapons. It's so sell, sell, sell. Uh, it's a short bow. Don't think I'm going to be using that. I'll hold on to those just in case, because I might have them. A uh, bow user at some point. <laughs> yes. Okay, right, let's buy this uh, Thorn of the Dead Gods. Actually, uh, compared to. Ah, oh yeah, Morrigan. Uh, Stuff she's got is already better. Okay. So that's about all the uh, selling. Let's do these ones as well. Uh, anything tier two, I'm just going to hold on to for the time being. Yep. Okay. Well, he has a quest as well. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Know of any well-paying work here? Check the chantry's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. Uh, other than alcohol? Yes, that's all right, poison. I've got some traps around the place. I've heard the poison hurts them beasties just as good as anybody else. Well, that's a fucking stupid idea if ever I heard one. That's what Elder Miriam said. But it's my coin and my land. I just want to rest a little easier at night. And what if you get some of the refugees in those traps? Well, then those bleeding sad salt should stay off my land, eh? Besides, these days, any folk out at night is more than like to slit your throat. Can you make poison or not? That's not a skill I give a shit about. Pity. I figured it was worth asking. So, you want to buy something instead? Nope. Nobody else here. You're going to make more trouble? We've about all we can stand in Lothering now. I'm not here to make trouble. Just finish it. Well, those boys were trouble themselves, to tell the truth. Right then, name's Denial. Sorry I can't chat much. As you see, we have four haps. Those men we fought, who were they? When Tian Logan marched by, he left those fellas behind to look for Grey Wardens. I suppose that's you. Of course not. Fair enough. What can I get you then? I'll be going. Luck speed your way. That's the, uh, that's the way out. Let's see if there's anything more we can do. So Terran Logain is the new region. Isn't that a good thing? I Not really. I want to go home. So do I. How dare you accuse me of thievery? I These saw you take the supplies from my car. Earth. The air Your turns to black and eyes are in it. Even if they are chasing, would never we ever return home. Talking to each other. Folk are all thieves and liars. Enough. People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough. Hmm. You know, Shokke basit isra, marade starit, marade twasit, abana kyun, 
Okay. You want one of my captors. I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. Fine, I'll leave you here then. If only I were so lucky. <laughs> There's an entire story arc with him, but uh, I don't think Duke would be very happy to follow it. So, uh... Too much to do, and not enough time. Do you need anything? I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. I don't, but I think Morrigan does. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travellers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Lesser health po poultices. I've already got 22 of them. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? Didn't need them. Take these. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. Nope. Just being an asshole. Okay, there's a few things happening around the area. We don't know what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Caelan, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Enemies approaching! Uh, you're making a big mistake. Anything worth looting? Didn't think so. Hmm. As you say. Chests that I won't be able to open. Nope. Oh. Ah! Clearly, I can walk through there. Bloody miserables. Hmm. Never noticed this, but this the fact this hmm. the fact this comes up here, you'd, you'd think you'd be able to get in that uh, that windmill. Ah, some more people who want to murder us. I'm gonna kill all of you. Missed only got one of them. Keep on the health. Go after the archers. I don't want to kill the dogs, but I don't have much choice. Okay, more looting. There's nothing to loot. Not from any of them. Well, shit. 
chain. I shall do it. More of them. More people who want to die. Does it? I don't think there's anything in here. Let's make our way around this way. Oh, look, more bandits who want to die. Come on. Dealt with him. Let's get over there and kill the last one. Didn't stand a chance. Most of loot. Possible the bandit leader has a key. Nope, he does not have a key. None of them have anything. Hmm. It's annoying. Let's make our way around. Oh great, giant spiders. Stick to find it the same one. A lot of uh, toxic stuff to yeah, pull out of the uh, spiders. Yeah. That's nasty. Mm. Oh, <laughs> not let me go any further. Okay. Uh, killed all three groups of bandits. Now I just need to go back to the Chanter's Board. Oh, there was something to loot here. With some boots. Just a small map, this one. Given how big some game Stop maps are. Me, mongrel. I have nothing you want. Why do you keep staring at me so, you flea-ridden beast? Can you not tell when you are not wanted? I enjoy company of creatures of the wild, not stench-ridden domesticated wolves. And he persists. Maddening! <laughs> <laughs> Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Oh, there's more. When bears attack and last keepsake. <laughs> uh,
Okay. I've no idea how I'm going to complete that one. And the bears. Okay. <laughs> yes. Blessed are the cheesemakers. I can't move the uh, map around. I can. Ah, yes. Uh, okay, right. <clears throat> oh, look, wolves. Bad dogs. Ah oh, yes, here's the tall woman with the red hair. Duty is done. There's something about a big black bear as well. Yeah, three of them. Come on, bears. What's up with those corpses? Ah! Well, I hadn't looted. Oh, they're, they're skeletons. Oh, they've rotted away quick, haven't they? Right, time to go back to the Chanter's board again. Because everything is about side quests, isn't it? Everything's about side quests. Now, despite the age of this game, it still looks not bad. Elements of it that haven't aged particularly well, but... Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Okay. Alistair. Everything is yours is strength based, isn't it? Uh, do that. So not long till I level up. And that's everything off the Chanter's board, and that's everything in Lothering at the moment. So there's one last thing, and I think I probably will take Sten with us because he does have quite an interesting storyline. Feels a little out of character for Duke to help somebody like this, but uh, what the hell? Did I not ask you to leave me in peace? Why are you in there? I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. Kunari? If you haven't heard of us, that is your own shortcoming. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. 
I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. What did you do to end up in there? I have been convicted of murder. Have the villagers not spoken of this? Hmm. Did you actually do it? Are you asking if I feel guilt or if I am responsible for the deed? However I feel, whatever I've done, my life is forfeit now. Who did you kill? The people of a farm hold. Eight humans, in addition to the children. Well, that's fucked. I agree. <laughs> Not interested in making up for what you've done? Death will be my atonement. <laughs> so, you want to die? I would prefer to die in battle, but my choices have been made. Hmm. What do you care as long as you're free? There are greater things than freedom. Honor for one. Would you help defend the land against the Blight? The Blight? Are you a Grey Warden, then? Why do you ask? My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Would the revered mother let you free? Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance. It seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. I'll go see. Farewell, then. A penitent man left to be torn to pieces by Darkspawn. Tis a fine example of the Chantry's mercy, is it not? Hmm. Let's see if we can get the revered mother to let him go. She's all the way back here. Oh yes, we have to go through the uh, chanting. Hmm, loading times are a bit slow. Should be bloody fast on this thing. Yes. What can I do for you now? I want to talk about Stern, that Kunari you got imprisoned. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? I want him freed. Might have use for him. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. I was thinking you might release him into my custody. Your custody? And who might you be? Grey Warden. Need aid fighting the Darkspawn. A Grey Warden? Oh dear, I will have to ask you to leave before you bring trouble on our heads. Let me take the Kunari to fight the Darkspawn. To defend against the Blight? Perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? If you prefer, I could invoke the Rider Conscription. I... No, I cannot. There will be too much trouble for us if we are seen cooperating with you. What do you mean? Um, there's supposed to be a dialogue there. You have not heard. The Tern claims that the Grey Wardens are responsible for the King's death. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... Uh, Sten? Again? 
We have already discussed this, and I told you I would not release the creature. Give me the key to the cage, now. Now we threaten priests. How fun. Whoa, whoa, let's not get out of hand here. What is the meaning of this? You would threaten me with violence? Your Reverence, please. We are on an important mission. Let us take the scenario <laughs> off your hands. I beg you. I'm not begging. And if not, I am to be assaulted. Is this what we have come to? No, Your Reverence. I will not allow that to happen. I have more important matters to concern me. Here, take the key to the creature's cage and be gone. Do not return. I won't. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Morgan really did approve there, and Alistair really disapproved. I have a distinct feeling Alistair is going to be um, not friends with old Duke here. Hmm. Being froze momentarily. Hmm. So Let's I go. take it you did not enjoy your Templar training? That directed at me, I take it. Do you see any others about who have failed at their religious instruction? I didn't fail, I was recruited into the Grey Wardens. And if you had not been recruited, what would have happened instead? I would have turned into a drooling lunatic, slaughtered the Grand Cleric, and run through the streets of Denham in my small clothes, I guess. Your self-awareness does you credit. I thought you'd like that. <laughs> I love the banter in this game. I'll always stop to listen to it. Hi, Stan. You wish something more of me. I got the key for the cage. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. <laughs> what does it matter? You can be free. Perhaps we have different ideas of freedom. You certainly can't wish to stay in there, can you? My death is a small thing, but once the door is opened, do you intend me to follow you? Depends. How can you help us exactly? I have been a soldier of the Vanguard all my days. I know much of warfare. And it seems obvious that you need all the help you can get. That's one way of putting it. As long as you do what I say. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. <laughs> One of them is, and if I choose to do something else with you, I'm not entirely sure I want to go down there, right? Okay, I'll let you out of there. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. <laughs> and what if I don't lead you to your atonement? And I will find it myself. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Okay. Yep, I'm going to continue sticking with these three for now. Ooh, and we've leveled up. Okay, cuddles first. Level six war dog. Ooh, what does he get? Uh, yeah, combat training. Okay. Ooh, I can take a specialization. Hmm. Now, come on, it, it, this is Duke, it's got to be champion. <laughs> yes, majestic woofsies. Okay, so champion. One of the abilities is called superiority. Uh. Hmm. 
think I'll go for that there. Right. So, I think that's everything in Lothering. Yep. Now, time to... Uh... Time to get the fuck out of here. Do some last minute looting. Well, herbs, so hardly looting. Oh, there's more things that want to die. As you said. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. Just how obliged are you exactly? You want a reward, eh? I suppose that's an entirely reasonable request. How does a hundred silver sound? I was going to use that to fix up the cart, but uh, quite frankly, I'll be grateful enough that my son and I come out of this with our heads. Nah, yeah, keep the money. Do use it to fix the cart. <laughs> then I suppose we're doubly fortunate, aren't we? The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. I doubt you want to travel with Grey Wardens. Grey Wardens? Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offence, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, though. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Yep, let's just uh, loot these corpses. Oh, Blood Mage. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I think heading to uh, the Isle of Redcliffe would be the best idea. Quest completed. Which one was that? Lothering and the Imperial Highway. Yes, okay. Moving on. Keeps freezing during loading screens occasionally. Ooh. The seventy one headpads. Bad night. Bad dreams, huh? Uh, must be something I ate. Drank more like, as in the tainted blood, remember? Ugh. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Arf, arf, arf. Are these dreams going to happen a lot? 
It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Any other surprises I should know about? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing? No, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, Great. you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Hmm. Okay, some more quests to... Uh... Right, party camp, enchantment. Ah, right, yes, let's go talk to... Uh... Um, I don't think so. You'd like it, though. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Have you been following us? I can see why you might be suspicious, being a Grey Warden and all. Were I in your shoes, I would feel the same way. Trust me when I say that my encountering you here was serendipity and nothing more. I travel a lot, so I'm bound to meet everyone on the road eventually. If you prefer, I'll take my boy and be on my way. But regretfully, you're the safest spot on this road, without a doubt. What are you selling exactly? Anything, everything, but all of the finest quality. No cheap trinkets here. And my boy Sandal happens to be a bit of a hand with enchantments. Oh, yes. Sadly, it also makes us a target for bandits and the like. If there were spare hands to hire as guards, I would have done so long ago. Let's see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Okay. Uh... <laughs> yeah, there's some uh, interesting things in um, one of the DLCs for the game. Because there's a whole relationship thing with all the characters, you can give them gifts to um, basically get on their good side. But there's also um, quite an abundance of really good gifts, but there's bad gifts as well. Um, some of them uh, <laughs> are quite specific. I mean, it's like the uh, the protective cone for the dog if you want the dog to um, absolutely hate you. Uh... Ah oh, yes, the stick for the dog. The dog would love that. Okay, anything worth nabbing? Uh, nothing I can afford at the moment. Uh, get rid of those dark spawn things. Oh yeah, I bought that dagger and then didn't equip it. <laughs> or did I? Uh, Actually, that the armor penetration is better than the uh, the sword I'm using, the family sword. Hmm. Give that to her there. Sten can have the great sword. Let's also give him some armor. I think that'll do. Ooh. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. What enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. 
though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform, but my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Okay, I'm done here. Hmm, game keeps freezing. Oh yeah, that's why. <laughs> I was wondering why I was getting that weird effect. It's momentum. Yeah. Let's have a chat with Stem. Why are we stopping? Yeah. Let's just get a few things straight. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? What's your hurry? What a strange language you speak. You say hurry where I would say duty. I've never seen a Kunari before. What kind of people are you? No. Why not? People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. Little hostile, aren't you? Many humans have said that to me. I do not understand it. If I were indeed hostile, you would be bleeding. So is this you being calm and helpful? Couldn't you tell? <laughs> you said you were in the army. I am. Ever fought in a war? I have always fought in war, human. What do you mean by that? My people have been at war since the moment we set foot in the Northern Islands. Well, the natives don't want to give up their land. It is not the native humans we fight. So, who then? The enemy is everywhere. The jungle itself. Vipers, hunting cats, even some of the flowers can kill the unwary. And always there is the Imperium and the Talvashoth. What are the Talvashoth? I do not see how this matters. Seheron and Parvolan are distant. Ferelden and the Darkspawn are immediate. Okay, fine, let's go. As you wish. Yeah, I don't know why it's pausing every now and then. It suggests that there's something not quite right at the moment. Let's talk to Morrigan. What do you wish of me? When I ask you something. If you must. Did you grow up in those Kukuri wilds? Why do you ask me such questions? I do not probe you for pointless information, do I? <laughs> you can probe me any time. <laughs> yeah, it's my favourite way of annoying you. Would it not be easier simply to poke at me with a stick? How about I use a very large club instead? No doubt is the only manner you can convince a woman to obey you. <laughs> Have it your way, then. What is it you asked if I grew up in the wilds? A curious question. Where else would you picture me? For Good many point. years it was simply Flemeth and I. The wilds and its creatures were more real to me than Flemeth's tales of the world of man. In time, I grew curious. I left the wilds to explore what lay beyond, never for long. Brief forays into a civilized wilderness. But you kept going back to the wild, didn't you? Would you not do the same? Your world is an unforgiving and cold place. The wilds I hail from is home to me and I a natural denizen. For all that I had been taught, however, the truth of the civilized lands proved to be... overwhelming. I was unfamiliar with so much. So confident and bold was I, yet there was much that Flemeth could never have prepared me for. Very daring, that sounds just like you. <laughs> Equal parts daring and foolhardy, perhaps. Only once was I accused of being a witch of the wilds, and that by a chastened who happened to be travelling with a merchant caravan. He pointed and gasped, and began shouting in his strange language, and most assumed he was casting some curse upon me. 
I acted the terrified girl, and naturally, he was arrested. I'm supposed to be surprised you're a good liar. I do not know how well I lie, but I will do whatever I must in order to survive. The point being that I was able to move through human lands fairly easily. Whatever humans think a witch of the wild looks like, tis not I. Not that I did not have trouble. There are things about human society which have always puzzled me, such as the touching. Why all the touching for a simple greeting? Well, was there a lot of bad touching? Hmm. At least with that sort of touching, I would have been able to intuit the intent with far greater ease. There were many nuances that Flemeth could never tell me of. When to look into another's eyes. How to eat at a table. How to bargain without offending. None of these things I knew. I still do not understand it all, truth be told. But then I gave up long ago any hope of doing so. When I returned to the wilds last, I swore to Flemeth that I had no intention of leaving again. And yet here you are. Yes, here I am. Well, let's get on with it before the ground opens up and swallows us, yes? <laughs> she didn't like that conversation. And who else can I bother? Uh, the uh, fellow French girl. Yes? I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. That the uh, vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. Yep. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. What then? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. Uh, did you um, hear voices among that? No, not voices. It's not so simple. He spoke directly to my soul in a language no human tongue can express. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the Black devours everything? The Chantry says the Maker left us, asshole. He's still here. I hear him in the wind and the waves. I feel him in the sunlight that warms my skin. I know what the Chantry says about the Maker, and what should I believe? What I feel in my heart, or what others tell me? Just make sure what you believe isn't a hindrance. Maybe I shall not share them with you then. <laughs> I think I'm going to end up pissing off all of them at this rate. Right, let's see what the dog wants. Oh, why you little? Are you harassing my dog? Me harassing your dog? I should say it's the other way round. Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. <laughs> Dude, these are good points. Each other's doing this. These are good point. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. 
Oh, like you can tell the difference. For you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. <laughs> uh, don't listen to Alistair, he's full of shit. Hey! <laughs> Right. And there's this guy. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? I'm Duke Nukem and I've never heard of you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, but that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. What exactly did Duncan promise? Well, as you know, my family's name is Mud around noble circles. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last Warden Commander of Ferelden back when the Wardens were known as Freeloaders. So King Olin banished the Wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. That's a bit drastic, isn't it? And then some. Not much is known about that time. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. So what favor did you ask of Duncan? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. Never even heard of Soldier's Peak. Where the fuck is it? Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honour. And why didn't he help you then? Darkspawn surfaced in southern Ferelden. And Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar. Said there might be useful things at the peak, but he never had the chance. And will reclaiming the peak help the wardens? Soldiers peak a strategic and symbolic importance. Duncan said that it would be worth it right there. He also hoped to recover lost warden history and perhaps a few old relics. No one knows what's up there now. What do you need from me? I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak, but the place, well, they say it's haunted, and it'll be dangerous for certain. Will you think on it at least? Okay, yeah, let's do it. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Okay, so... Uh... Oh, those are completed ones. Current quest, that's what I want to look at. Alright, so, King's Confident. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, right. Let's see, are we done in here? Uh, Alistair's the only one we haven't spoken to, so. What do you need? You want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. 
Good, I don't want you falling apart again. Don't worry. So long as we're looking at taking down that bastard Loghain, I won't be losing any sleep at night. And thanks for the warm concern. For a moment there, I thought you might actually have cared. <laughs> yep, Alistair didn't like that one bit. Okay. You got more to say, Cuddles? Uh, look at what your fool dog <laughs> placed in my pack. A putrid, half-eaten hair is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. Although when you think about it, is that really how she'd put it? Probably not. <laughs> Uh, why doesn't he share his food with me? You are welcome to this if you really want it. The dirty mongrel can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. <laughs> hmm. Hey, that was a gift. You can't just throw it away like that. I just did. I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. <laughs> I think he just hurt his feelings. Oh, he's just trying to be manipulative, I can tell. I do it too. <laughs> right, let's move on. Gather the party. Let's pick who we're going to have. Yes. Indeed. If, I think sticking with those three for the moment. <laughs> okay, so. Redcliffe Castle, Redcliffe Village. So let's head there first. It's also one of the nearest locations. Ah uh, yes, random encounter. Okay. Do you have coin, stranger? With doors of Mar closed off, old Tegra can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. What did you say about Orzamo? There's two things I'm here for. Travel or trade. Understand? Okay, fine. Let's see this discount of yours. Tier 3 sword. Uh, it's about the only thing worth taking from there. Let's take this skill book. That'll be the most useful thing there. And that's pretty much it for this random encounter. It. Yep, let's keep going. On the way to Raycliffe. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. I'm not going to like this, am I? I don't know. I doubt it. I've never liked it, that's for sure. Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? I really hope this isn't something sordid. Uh, no. Why would you think that? 
Wait, don't answer that. Just let me finish. <laughs> I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Our Lehman took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marrick, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. <laughs> so you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard. Ha! Yes, I guess it does it, that. I should use that line more often. <laughs> I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Does Loghain know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Did she know the truth about you? She may have, but I think it's more likely that she feared the rumors might be true. I can't blame her for that. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall. And it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually he just stopped coming. And you think the oil's gonna help us? I think so, yes. This news we've heard about him being sick disturbs me, though. I wonder if we won't discover that Loghain has come to the same conclusion as we have. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. That's not what you really think, is it? No, I, I suppose not. I don't feel very lucky at all, to be honest. Nor me. Interesting, what's it loading? Yeah, it says loading on the bottom right of the screen. The camera is covering at the moment. <laughs> I've got a feeling it's locked up. <laughs> yep, that's locked up, so... <sighs> the game back up again you have to look into this see why it's doing that right where's it going to load in <laughs> it's loading in there isn't it that was the uh, uh, good thing I did put that quick saving because otherwise it would have been back to camp Okay, well, it's heading towards 10. I think now's a, 
as good a point as any to finish up for the uh, for the stream. I need to look into why the game's playing up a bit. Um, so hopefully uh, you've enjoyed that. I will be back to this next week, same sort of time, Friday 7 p.m. Uh, video of this is going to be going up on uh, my YouTube. I think I do have a link to that below. Um, uh, below the stream on Twitch. Um, other than that, uh, I hope you all have. Oh, actually, let's see if there's anyone worth streaming. Uh, not at the moment, I'm afraid. I need to get into the habit of checking that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna finish up and uh, I will catch all of you next week. Bye.